We had a, a Sicilian, my, my grandpa was my, uh, kind of like my caretaker when I was super little. Mm -hmm. So I had kind of the, the upbringing of a, a 70 something year old Sicilian <laughs> man. So I drank a little bit of grandpa's wine with water, even in my baba when I was a baby. Like we are wine drinkers. In the warmer months of the year, our go-to is a, a chilled Sicilian red, like mm -hmm. a, a Natto Davola, yep. or a light crisp rosé, like we have examples of here. Is there a beer for someone who's a wine drinker? Absolutely, I think that, I get that a lot. I don't think people really realize just how many styles are available on the market. And beer and wine tend to share a lot of similar flavors, you know, fermentation flavors, bright fruity notes and spice and all of these things. And so I know you like rosé, we talked about that a little bit before. Um, so what I brought is actually in the sour beer family. And sour beer can sound a little scary, but it's actually very refreshing. If you think about things like rosés or um, a tart lemonade, and it's from upstate New York. So, no kidding. Yes, ma'am. A lot of great breweries in this state. What's the name of this? This beer? is from Ithaca Brewing Company. It's called Raspberry Soiree. And so it's a tart sour wheat beer brewed <laughs> with raspberries. Yeah, so like a rosé, it's gonna have that fruitiness on the front, sort of acidity and the tang it's on the finish, very, very refreshing. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't that good? And it doesn't taste like raspberries. I know that sounds weird, <laughs> but it really doesn't have a berry flavor to it. It's not fake sugar and all of that sort of really overly sweetness. No, it's, it's just, just it's pleasantly and... acidic and, and yet soft. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. It's exactly. very crisp. It's very nice. <laughs> So we're going back to your Nero Davila. This is um, a Belgian beer. It's actually made by monks. And it's a uh, Belgian strong ale. It's an Abbey double. So it has a lot of the same flavors as a red wine, as that big, bold, black currant sort of dark fruit, but a little spice and a big velvety mouthfeel. So I would pair this with the same So foods. this is going to have the same effect mm -hmm. as a, a nice Italian red. Correct. And okay. something very refreshing. I would have that with steak, you know, similar foods that you would have with a wet, uh, red wine. Oh, if that were an Italian wine, I would say amabile or very friendly. Yeah, easy to drink, right? Soft. There's Soft not a lot on of the bitterness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Not bitter at all. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, good. That whole glass <laughs> is a big thing.